I'm on my way to practice. Big game coming up. Game seven of the finals. This is what we worked hard for. I promise after we get this W, it's just me and you. We're gonna celebrate. I love you. Don't move or you're dead, Alexander. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Game 7 of the NBA Finals where the Oklahoma City Thunder are going up against the Washington Wizards. The Oklahoma City Thunder are the fan favorite, but the Wizards have came and they brought their A game. But you can't forget about this guy right here, Mark Alexander, a true hero for the Wizards. When they were down in the series 0-3, in the final moments of Game 4, he showed us his true colors. He showed us exactly how important he is to this team. He knew they needed a 3 to win, and well, that's why we're here today. I noticed that Mark Alexander was not on the court during pre-game warm-ups, nor is he in tonight's lineup. It looks like the Wizards are going to have to do this without the help of Mark Alexander. Now let's get into this game. Kendrick Perkins dishes it to Kevin Durant. Durant shakes off his defender, giving OKC the lead. Now if the Wizards want to win this game, they are going to have to play smart basketball and limit their turnovers, which they failed to do in this possession, giving Serge Ibaka the fast break and he's attacking the rim at will. Most importantly, if the Wizards want to even think about winning, they are going to have to contain Kevin Durant. We all know that Kevin Durant is a very efficient scorer. And if they let Kevin Durant just continue playing lights out like this, they are going to be in some trouble. Let's see that replay. Kevin Durant from the baseline, he got up 32.4 inches in the air. Like I said before, if the Wizards even want to think about winning, they are going to have to stop Kevin Durant. Now, Russell Westbrook, he just snatches the ball from Jordan Crawford. He sees Kevin Durant, he's on fire, and he's still shooting lights out. Now, on the other side of the court, Bradley Bill pulls up for a pretty decent jump shot, but he just couldn't get it to fall. The Wizards need Mark Alexander now more than ever. Mark Alexander, where are you? The Wizards are going to need a miracle. It's the first quarter, and it's 47-21. This game is slipping away. When David Stern wants things to go his way, he does whatever it takes to make it happen. Stern wanted us to set you up for an injury, but you just don't get hurt. So the next best way is to kill you. Any last words? It's too deadly not to check me, boy. I know what you're thinking. The Wizards are down by over 60. Why the hell am I still watching? But they have guys like Bradley Bill and Blake Griffin who do not want to give up just yet. Especially the 2011 slam dunk champion reminding us why he won that contest. This is becoming a brand new ball game. Jordan Crawford seeing Blake Griffin with the spin dunk goes up for a spin jumper. It's fourth quarter. It's now or nothing. Trevor Reza, who's he giving it to? Mark Alexander! Mark Alexander! He's in the game! Oh my god! Oh my god, Mark Alexander's back! Oh my goodness, he comes in, knocking down a three! Is it too late? Is Mark Alexander gonna win this for his team? Blake Griffin, get that out of here! Kevin Durant, he's nervous! Seeing Mark Alexander must have shaken him up. Look at those stats in one quarter! It's too deadly not to check him, boy! Oh my goodness, Jordan Crawford, he slows it down, giving it to Mark Alexander, but that was a crazy turnover. Mark Alexander gets the steal. What is he going to do with it? Off the double team, he gives it to Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin throws a oop up to Mark Alexander. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Blake Griffin, off the fast break, gives it back to Mark Alexander, and Mark Alexander reminding us why he is who he is. Check out the you know what cam damn Oh my god <laughs> He just got pulverized off the screen Can this actually turn around? Off the fast break Trevor Ariza giving it to Crawford He had to get into this dunk fest Things are looking great for the Wizards now Heavily contested layup Look at those stats Mark Alexander has turned this team around single-handedly. 
he is truly reminding us why he is who he is. Nice assist to Crawford. As soon as he came in, everybody has just stepped up. Randy Whitman must be having a field day. He must be feeling great. Mark Alexander throws up a oop to Blake. My God. Final seconds of the game. It's now or never. Shot clock winding down. Hand in his face. He clutches it. Mark Alexander clutches it. He secures the win. Oh my goodness. The crowd is going wild. Mark Alexander. Who would have thought out of nowhere? The celebration. Everybody's hype. Everybody's going crazy. This 2013 season has seen its fair share of unlikely heroes. None more heroic than the upstart tale of Terrell Pryor and his 10-5 Oakland Raiders. Sitting two games behind the Denver Broncos in the division, the Raiders need a win tonight to lock up the final wildcard spot in the playoffs. Only the team standing in their way is also pursuing the final wildcard spot for themselves. With their division locked up by Pittsburgh, the 10-5 Bengals look to that dynamic combo of Andy Dalton to A.J. Green to cancel Oakland's travel plans and get a ticket of their own to the show. Welcome to Monday Night Football. Are you ready? Come on, are you ready? Are you ready for some Madden? A Monday Night Showdown! The Big Cats are here and they're eyeing those ghouls just to throw down. It's Bruce in the booth for this championship fight. Sports CMM Finals here on Monday night. Hello and welcome to a Monday night ranked match. I'm using the Oakland Raiders, and my opponent has chosen the Cincinnati Bengals. Boom! In the words of John Madden, we go ahead and turn the ball over and get steamrolled on the opening kickoff, giving him prime real estate here within the red zone. Not exactly the way we plan to start this game, but the Silver and Black's defense here stifles him on first and second, forces him to a third and long, and they're able to get a hand on it and hold him to three points. Damage control behind us, it's time to go on the offensive. Darren McFadden with a great spin move, gets us the first down, and here we're running a screen, trying to play a little bit conservative in the early parts of the game, feel out what he runs on defense, whether he's running man or zone, and right here on third and long, Streeter ends up dropping the ball, so we have to punt it. On defense though, I want to set a tone early. I want to get to the quarterback, get in his head, make him make bad throws. Speaking of bad throws, it's not delivery, it's Giordano making the pick right there. My man earns himself Mario coin, but heading to the Skycam breakdown right here, I'm gonna show you guys a beautiful bait. He's a free safety, and I purposely ran to the right side, the wrong side of the field, only so I could circle back and take the ball away from what he thought was an open AJ Green. I mean, this is Monday night. This is the bright lights, prime time, everybody in the nation's watching you play football. Jerry Rice was once quoted as Monday night football. That was everything to me, because you get a chance to show everybody what you're capable of. It's only two teams on that Monday night. On this drive though, I am living on third down. Darren McFadden runs this draw right here. It's the last thing he would have expected on third and 12. And I ended up getting the conversion for the first down, set me up nicely for this screen play, but he just takes a great angle and is able to get me right there. Third and three, I told you I was living on third down. Myers with the catch to the left side of the field. Gotta put points on the board here. But he has all my reads covered and I get skittish in the pocket and end up taking a sack. Hoping my third down success is going to continue. I try to hit Myers on a double move route, but the ball gets Superman swatted. Three points later, those cats are ready to pounce. Where's my safety? I thought Dalton had a noodle off. Damn, how long has this ball been in the air? Yes, he drops it. Second and 10, 50 seconds left. We know he's looking downfield, so we drop a zone and it pays off. Rolando McLean, my computer AI, makes a great play on the ball and gives us the pigskin already within field goal range. We run first and second down, don't get very far. Third down, we don't get anywhere and end up taking our three points. This Monday night seems to be a low scoring affair dominated by the kickers, but hold, hold up. 
Wait a second, are you kidding me? I should have known the way he started this game off with that fumble. He was going to end with a special team spectacular play. Skycam breakdown shows some peewee shit right here as all nine of these Raiders are huddled around the same area and these two dopes are off to the left. So we started the game bad, ended the half even worse, and to add insult to injury, he gets the ball at the halftime. But I'm fully confident that my defense will step up and make the play when I need it. I'm telling you, this Raiders defense is hungry. I told you, it's only a matter of time before the defense gets big. Right here on the sky cam, you see Tyvon Branch come flying in and lay the Bengals running back out. Unfortunately, that momentum swing is short-lived, however, because he forces us into a third and 17. We reroute to Nereus Moore, think we have him open, but he's not able to hold on to that ball. So Janikowski gets a little bit more work in and we cut the deficit to only one point. But back on defense, you know I'm feeling strong, feeling good because all of his points have come on special teams so far, but I guess I spoke too soon as he burns and whoop, toasts me for 60 yards. He finally breaks through, first point scored not off his special teams during this whole entire game. So I can't let his eight point lead get away from here. I gotta keep it contained, try to get a long, methodical drive here, extend first down after first down, eat up clock, get down the field, and not turn this ball over. It's time to get moving. Monday Night Football is not a showcase for Janikowski's leg. I need some clutch moments like this circus catch from Streeter right here, who was able to convert the first down. Those three words, Monday Night Football, resonate like no other. And I'd like to hear nothing more than this Coliseum resonating at the sound of a Raiders touchdown. Only once again, our drive is stifled and we're forced to work Janikowski for his fourth field goal of the game. My opponent is not looking to waste time at all as he takes Mohamed Sanu down to the 17 yard line, sets him up for a first and 10. But at this point of the game, I cannot afford to let him score. So I'm sending the heaters, trying to get to his quarterback and holding him to only three points. And now it's all on me. I gotta put my clutch jeans on and get this two minute drill done as Pryor throws a beautiful touch pass over to Daenerys Moore. First and 10, why not take a shot? Darren McFadden's got single coverage up the middle, but the pass goes too far and Taylor May is able to knock it down. Third and 12, we're able to find an Al Davis era DHB and he could go all the way. Touchdown and down by two, you go for it. All the stops are out, caution is to the wind. And we find DMC open for the two point conversion. Tie ball game, let's go baby. So it's basically a new game with 30 seconds left and what? No, at this point in the game, I had to stop, put down the controller, or else I'd be taking another trip to GameStop later on. This man's special team has been putting in work today. But resilience, we shall overcome Streeter with the wheel route grab. Seven seconds left, only one option. DMC with the screen, three defenders, three blockers. Holy shit, DMC jukes, he stumbles. Open field, he's in, touchdown, yes! Well, I mean, that would have been ideal, but I actually just end up getting tackled and lose the game.